to my channel. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Lissy. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on my weekly videos. And because we have some super exciting stuff coming up that you guys do not want to miss out on. Anyways, guys, today I once again did a thing that I probably shouldn't have. Well, if you guys didn't know, I did a video a little bit ago buying a haunted mystery box off of eBay. And, well... You guys loved it so much and you got that video to 20,000 likes, so today I decided to do a part two because I promised you guys that I would. Also guys, if this video gets to 20,000 likes, I will make a part three of buying another mystery box, whether it be haunted or some other weird one off eBay for you guys and open it up. Anyways guys, short story short, I came across this listing right here on eBay saying haunted mystery box filled with creepy haunted items that I have compiled into one mystery box. Warning. These are actually haunted. Spooky. So today we're gonna see if the tea is really that hot and we're gonna open it up because I just got it in the mail tonight and I cannot wait to open it. Also guys, quick interruption. I wanna give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, Sepford. So Sepford is a fragrance subscription service that gives you the opportunity to shop over 600 different brands. And also it's a flexible subscription so you can actually skip any months you want to without any penalties. Sepford lets you choose a designer fragrance every month for only $16. And every month you get to pick what scent you want. You really get to make sure that the scents you're going to be getting are the ones that you actually want to try. Sempert also carries designer brands like Prada, Gucci, and Michael Kors. All of them are 100% authentic and they work directly with the brands. Also guys, I'm so excited because Sempert gave me a coupon code which I'll put right here on the screen for 30% off. So that means it's only $11 for your first month. So let me show you guys what scents I got. So the first fragrance I got was Garden Party. This one smells like jasmine and all sorts of fresh flowers. The next scent I got was Versailles Bright Crystal. This one smells like raspberry, pomegranates, and a little little bit of flowers. I love berry scented thing. When I wore this last week, a bunch of my friends were asking me what I had on. It made me know that I was smelling nice. So this next one is vanilla coconut and I love anything that smells like vanilla. The next one I got was aromatic spices plus jasmine. This one smells kind of like lemon, peach, and jasmine flowers. It's a very soft and dainty scent. You guys have got to try some first. The link will be in the description down below and be sure to use my coupon code. They sent this in priority mail. It was a priority two-day mail package. This is gonna be exciting. I'm just gonna get right on in to opening this bad boy up. One like equals one prayer because I don't want to get actually haunted. Honestly, when I'm buying these eBay mystery boxes, some of them feel too silly to be true, so I'm not, I'm not like that scared of the spooky stuff. I'm not sure what to expect out of this. Okay, moment of truth. What is going to be inside of this haunted mystery box? Ooh, there's wrapping paper inside. Okay, okay. <gasps> there's a letter on the top of this. I didn't wrap this very scary for a haunted mystery box. I don't know. Let's open this read me thing first. It says read me. This is the moment of truth of how cursed I'm gonna get filming this video for you guys. The background stories of the creepy mystery box items. They wrote a background story, kind of similar to the last one I did, about the history of each item. As I'm seeing here, I'm already getting spoilers, so I'm going to open the items and then go back here and find what it is and read the story for each of them. Alright, I'm grabbing one out. This is the first thing we're gonna open. I don't know what this is, but it feels like a box, even though it's inside of a box. Alright, let's find out what it is. I'm scared. It feels like my birthday, but a haunted birthday. This is scary. Oh my gosh. What is this? This does look haunted. Okay, if I'm disrespecting this item and it's actually haunted, well, I am doomed. So, I'm not even gonna read the description yet, but I'm gonna show you guys whatever this might be. This is so scary looking. Okay, so let me get this to focus. So, it looks like some kind of container or bin that has really old creepy photos all over it. Like a random man playing a ukulele or some kind of instrument. I don't know what kind of instrument that is. And yeah, that looks honestly haunted. I don't really know if I should open it yet. I'm gonna read the description of this haunted box and see what it says. Okay, I think I found what it's called and it says this is a ghost box. Oh, I'm holding a ghost box. Okay, I don't want to hold this anymore. It says this box was found in an old abandoned home. Rumor has it that there is a spirit inside of this box. Yo, get this out of here! The previous owners claim that when they have opened up the box, they have heard strange noises and screams come out of it. I don't know if I want to open this thing anymore. <laughs> she also claimed that after she had opened it, strange things started to happen inside of her home such as doors opening and closing on their own, and gusts of wind blowing inside when the windows were not open. Do I open this or do I do I risk it all? I mean, I did promise you guys another video like this, so I'm gonna have to open this 
haunted box. I should turn the light off to make it scarier. Okay, I'm gonna open this haunted box in three, two, one. I don't hear anything, so I'm a little disappointed. Not today, Casper, not today. We're gonna lock the genie back in the box and open up the next haunted item. The next item I have here looks kinda big and feels kinda squishy. So, we're just gonna get into this. Happy haunted birthday to me! By the way, comment down below, when is your birthday? If you're watching this, when's everybody else's birthday? Who has a birthday twin? Find your birthday twin in the comments. <gasps> Oh my- EW! This thing's ugly, bruh! Oh my gosh! It's a monkey! And if you guys did not know, I just- I hate monkeys. Nothing against them, I just- I have like an internal fear of monkeys. I don't know why, they just really creep me out. I hate the face on it. Let me give you guys a close-up here. Why is it dressed in like a dress? It's a dressy like monkey. It's a classy monkey. Do -do 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 -do. I don't like it. Let me read what it says about this monkey doll thing. Louis the monkey was once owned by a young boy who received this gift from a zookeeper. What? Oh my god, this story. This is such a random story. How can this even be real? Let me continue this. I don't know how to feel about this. Uh, the young boy loved monkeys and dreamed of owning his own someday. The young boy loved Loved this toy until he grew up eventually and no longer had any interest in the monkey. When the grown up boy moved out of his parents' house, he left Louis the monkey at his parents' house. And that is when all the chaos began. Louis was left sitting on the boy's old dresser. He randomly started to appear in odd spots of his parents' home, which obviously freaked out the parents. He has been found lying in the bathtub, sitting in the middle of a window seal, and one night found in his parents' bed. <laughs> Yo, if I just woke up one day and I was just chilling, and all of a sudden this monkey man was just sitting in my bed. Oh, you already bet. This thing would be thrown in the trash or be burnt to flames, okay? Lewis, don't you try to pull none of that stuff on me, bro. I just put Lewis like right up there, right by my dog. So if he does anything sketchy, my dog will see it. I grabbed this one because it feels like another haunted doll. And we just love, we just love cursed haunted dolls, okay? They're just our favorite. I have like way too many of them now. All right, let's see. Funny thing is, none of them but Rose have really done anything super scary, so... Oh, this is not a doll. This is not a doll. It's literally the most beloved mouse in the world. M-I-C-K-E-Y. He's creepy though. Why does he look like that? Okay, I, I'm not gonna mock my man Mickey the mouse, but you know, he is in the clubhouse right now and I wanna see why this man is haunted. So it says, it's a vintage Mickey Mouse doll. This antique Mickey Mouse was previously purchased at an antique store. It has a record of having paranormal activity along with it, and there is no evidence as to why it is haunted. However, the store workers claim to have seen it moving on its own with its head moving around at a very high speed. That is creepy. Okay, let me see what this, this Mickey does. Mickey Mouse! Are you the rat from the clubhouse? Okay, let me- he has like a wind up on the back, but look at his tail. It's like a little- it's a little string. Wait a second, I have to show you guys this. There's a really gross stain on his back. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but it looks like he was like dipped in ketchup or something gross. See what he does. His head is moving! This thing is really creepy. His head moved really fast for a second. Okay, this thing is haunted. I feel like this is the creepiest item ever. I, like, I love Mickey Mouse. Don't get me wrong, and Disney, but this is creepy. I have to show Angel and see what she thinks about it. Angel, is it haunted? What if she act like she likes this? Angel, it's supposed to be scary. I mean, she's not stopping looking at it, so maybe that means something. I don't know. All right, so this next item that they sent is surprisingly kind of heavy. We're going to pull it out. It feels like metal. A mirror? How can a mirror be haunted? Okay, oh, I look good, though. Okay, okay, hot girl summer. Okay, so it is the second thing listed on here. It is a vintage mirror. Yes, I can definitely tell that it is a vintage sort of design of a mirror for sure. Um, this vintage mirror was obtained in 1980. I love how they know the date of that, if it's true. It was previously owned by a young girl who received the gift from her aunt. The young girl eventually started to notice that sometimes when she looked into the mirror to put on her makeup and get ready, that her face looked different. Alrighty then, well that's fun. Maybe that's why it made me look so good, okay? 
She didn't think much of it until one day her eyes glowed red as she glared into the mirror. That is creepy. She then had her family members look into it and it made them feel uneasy and super sick. After that, it was received by my local antique store where I purchased it after hearing the story. Well, I'm going to stare into the mirror now. I really don't want my eyes to glow red or to feel sick. I want to see what's going to happen, all right? Oh my gosh! I can still see my reflection! Imagine. <laughs> that would have been, that would have been scary, guys. That would have been concerning. Honestly, nothing happened. I don't feel eerie looking into this thing. I just feel gorgeously hot. Hashtag hot girl summer. All right, this next item is in this shiny little packet. Let's see. I think this is one of the last items, by the way. So, it's only one more thing after this. Ooh, what is this? Oh, it's a photo of a really scary looking little girl. She's creepy. Okay, look at that. Let me show you guys. So it's literally just a random photo of a little girl. It's funny because in my last video I had kind of like a creepy photo like this. I think of like a woman or something. Now I want to know what this is so creepy for. I want to see why this photo or this photo frame is haunted. Alright, so let's see here. So it says this photo of a little girl was handed down over generations to family members who had it. Some have claimed that when they have looked closely at the photo, they have seen a man in a dark suit appear next to the girl for a few seconds and then disappear. Family members believe that the man that appears may be her grandfather who died before the little girl was born. That's kind of creepy. I am not going to lie. When I did grab this out, I didn't want to be dramatic or anything. I did feel a little bit cold, like I had goosebumps on my arms and stuff like that, so weird because it's pretty hot upstairs right now, it's like 70 something in my house, and since I touched this, I do feel cold. So that's a little bit creepy, I'm not gonna lie, I am looking at this, and it just makes me feel eerie like inside. So out of all the items, this one is the most believable to be haunted in my like genuine, like I'm being serious right now, like opinion, this one is the eeriest so far. Not that I'm seeing the man in the black suit, but it's just make it makes me feel like sick looking at it. Last but not least, we have the last item in this haunted mystery box from eBay. And I'm hoping this one ends strong, okay? It is small. I'm gonna pick the bigger looking items first because that's how I am. What is it gonna be? It looks like a clown, but I don't think it is. I don't really know what that's supposed to be. So this is a pepper shaker, Peppy the Pepper Shaker. Peppy was once paired with Salty as a salt and pepper duo. The owner of the pair claimed that every time the salt and pepper dispensed from one of the shakers, there was an odd odor, and it added a rotten taste to their food. What? That is so bizarre. I might have to test this in another video. Like, it doesn't smell like stinky, but it definitely smells old. Like, but at least I didn't get cursed or nothing too crazy happened yet. But I will update you guys if anything super spooky happens. The only thing that made me feel uncomfortable was obviously that frame and maybe the monkey, but at least nothing too crazy was in this mystery box. Anyways guys, thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and leave a nice comment down below for a chance to win a shout out in the next video. Also guys, huge shout out to Semper for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to use my coupon code, which I'll have right here on the screen, and check out the link down below because they are super amazing guys, and you will not regret it if you guys love smelling good and love a good perfume or a nice scent. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys! So that was it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit the subscribe button, be sure to drop a like, and be sure to leave a comment down below. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.